Hi everyone, Happy New Year. My name is Claire Kizito and welcome to my channel. I have actually been um, contemplating about vlogging for some time now but I kept on putting it on hold saying to myself I'll do it when I get better equipment but you know I've decided that it's now or never which brings us to today's topic that I would like to talk about new year's resolutions now some people may say oh that has been around for some time what is the point of setting them if you don't achieve them but i would say um new year's resolutions are like goals aims in life uh we need to have something that we look forward to so i would say it is important to have them and set them and today I'm going to be discussing about my some of my personal goals in life and what I would like to achieve this year and also I would include some goals that I think generally people would be setting for themselves this year and I'll also include some tips on how to achieve these. So number one is take action this is so important like you need to take action whatever you feel you would like to achieve you just need to start it today step by step you will accomplish whatever it is take for instance driving lessons if you wanna pass your test you're gonna start by finding out more information about you know instructors the testing centers and different likes so you just need to act towards that goal to achieve it uh, myself i'm bad at procrastination like i postpone tasks like if i have like a difficult task to do i'll keep on saying i'll do it tomorrow the other day and before i know the deadline comes so i just need to kick this habit this year and get on things as per when i have to and the second um thing would be focus like you just need to focus on these goals after you put them down even if it is to do with work with school work those of you who are still young and out there and you have school work to do this is for you just focus on your school work because there is time for everything you need to work harder because there is no pain there is no pay without pain yeah is that right yes so you need to work harder to achieve something like you know you don't get no reasons just like that so you need to go for it be determined number three would be save money now this is key we need to save money to achieve the goals and I have a problem with this and I guess a lot of other people do have problems with saving money because uh, when I go out shopping I want to buy things that I don't even need when I get into the mode of buying I'll buy and buy like to the extent that I don't even know what I'm buying anymore like I want to buy the whole shop if for instance it is sales like you know I know you watching as well, you will get this feeling when it's sell, you get the excitement, you think things are half price, but the shops, they are in business, they will still sell, like the shops right now, they already have like the spring items out, they are just selling, so yourself, you need to look at your money, how you can best manage money, um, I'll give you a tip about saving money, you can use a piggy bank, yeah? looks like that this is a small piggy bank but they come in a lot of different sizes and colors so you can use this to save you can put in two pound coins each day each week or as per as you choose and before you know the money will accumulate and you 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 find that you have saved a lot more money than you wouldn't have saved otherwise even if it's pennies just like tesco says every little counts yeah so just find up with just 
get some tips you can use to save money even if it's not a piggy bank some of you may have other ideas i don't know and another thing would be to manage debts like the use of credit cards you you have to um pay back the credit cards before the interest accumulates and you can also find this important like writing down a shopping list when you're going out shopping write down the things in priority what you need what you want and that will um help you as well you know some people may be like oh that takes time they may look at you in the supermarket like what are they on about like that uh, uh, that takes a lot of time yeah it may take time but you know it helps as well it will keep your finances in check number four would be challenge yourself so this year give yourself a challenge get out of your comfort zone go out there and do things that you wouldn't have done otherwise for instance uh you may register yourself for marathons um they are a lot all these fundraising activities going on like the cancer researches or um awareness at some point in the year get involved yeah take part um like two years ago like was it 2014 and last year as well there were all these challenges going on about on social media like um cold water or ice bucket challenge is it so you can get involved in such things it can be for fun and it can be for a good cause as well if it is to give back to people who need this um money to survive and uh one thing that I, i've just remembered like when i was uh, thinking about challenges then i just mentioned it to my children and my daughter just came up with an idea like she want to do a coca-cola challenge and i was like what is this about and she I, I don't honestly i don't know what it's about maybe she's gonna just drink a lot of coke i don't know because usually at home i say to them no fizzy drinks so she's coming up with this idea that she has a coca-cola challenge but anyway challenge yourself uh, if you have anxieties, think of how you are going to overcome them, how you're going to overcome phobias. And, you know, that would be good. Like, it would be one goal like this year. Number five is living healthy. We all need to live a healthy lifestyle. Like, eat better, like less salt less sugar less fatty foods fast foods like you know myself like fast foods when you talk about chips i'm guilty yeah because chips is like my guilty pleasure um i can't do without chips like for two days like i crave chips all the time and like if i don't eat them for some days like i suffer from withdrawal symptoms if you like like if you've been addicted to anything you would know what we withdrawal symptoms are like they, they they're not good but anyway this year i've set up myself like i need to get rid of all this cheap thing if i will if i want to look good and if i want to lose weight and um other people may want to give up smoking drinking because obviously drinking excessively damages your liver and some people when they drink and drive it is dangerous to themselves and other road users so it would be good you know to give up all this you need to have enough rest you know sleeping is good when you sleep somebody sees it on your face that you have rested you look relaxed and all that number six i would like to be a better person like you know within myself i would like to be at peace with other people my family so i've just said to myself you know which are the ways of being good it can be simple things like saying thank you apologizing to people saying i'm sorry sometimes you know you just have to have less ego even if you're not the one in wrong you just have to be a better person and apologize to the other so that you just maintain the relationship um another thing um number seven would be appreciate life yeah 
like some of you have heard of YOLO, you only live once, yeah. But again, other people may say you live every day and die once. But whatever it is, you just have to appreciate your life and where you are in your life. Um, you don't have to compare yourself with others, like just be yourself, concentrate on what you have in your life, be it your family, your friends, tell them you love them, you appreciate their support and you know, things will be great. Another thing will be, be productive. Yeah. Being productive has so many ways, like find things to do with yourself, go and work. Some people don't like working. They'll be sat at home just, you know, being idle, uh, as if there is nothing going on. But, you know, get up, go out there, find jobs, work. Yeah. People work. People need to work. Yeah. So, some people, they are lucky, they, they, they work by doing what they enjoy, but everybody has skills, abilities, has a passion. Go and find what your passion is. People can earn money from their passion, like, because, you know, when you do what you enjoy, it doesn't even feel like work anymore. It just feels like, you know, it's work and play. So I would advise, like, get something that can earn you money and then you can be productive to your community and um, number nine now uh, take opportunities as they come yeah this is so important because opportunities dance with those who are already on the dance floor opportunities are not gonna come and look after you look look for you where you will be wherever but you need to take them at the earliest glance because some some people may say oh they are unlucky but the thing is that we always have opportunities around us but sometimes we may not uh see this we may not um notice these opportunities so be it getting a new job go for it yeah you only get one shot just like jls yeah you know that tune yeah so just go for it number 10 improve yourself you can improve yourself in so many ways, maybe through being more organized. Myself, if I'm in an environment where everything is messy, that messes my mind up as well. Like I need everything to be in order in place where I've kept it. I want to find it there. So um, it does help me a lot to be organized. You can keep uh, notebooks, write things you need to do, like things to do today. Uh, that helps you to manage time as well because time is so important like um, Time wasted is never gained and although you know we need money, but money cannot buy time so um, You just need to come up with ways on how you can Improve yourself network more go out there, you know spend time with people who make you better You may by now realize that some people don't add any positives to you I'm not saying you shouldn't have friends, but look at your friends and think, you know, how are they enabling you to progress? And if this is not the case, find a way of how you can spend time with people who have done better, who are doing well, who are going to inspire you. And with these tips, believe me, you will manage to achieve your goals this year. I've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, just give us your feedback by putting the comments down below. You can give us like of course we value your we value your views and you know we value the feedback from you. You can also follow us. We are on almost all social media. We are on Instagram tumblr twitter pinterest we have a facebook page just go and check out claire's classy makeovers thank you bye bye